We were viewing plastic bags now? What's happening? Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freak and geek himself, and today we'll be taking a look at a trifecta of upgrade kits from Nonf Productions for Earthrise, Ironhide, and Ratchet. So here we are, and there they are. Yes, these are three separate kits. These are three separate purchases. Um, I'm just going to review them together because eh, it just makes more sense to just do it all together. So we have some wheels, we have some new feet, and we have some uh, battle sled parts. So yeah, all this is just in plastic baggies so we'll just dump everything out and dump everything out dump everything out and dump everything out and there you go we have empty baggies hooray for empty baggies so the first thing we're going to take a look at are the wheels now um the wheels that come standard with the figure are the cybertronian wheels which makes no sense because they should have earthy wheels because it's their earth mode so yeah this gives them their uh more earthy looking wheels, way more appropriate. And here's one we have to put together. There is some uh, assembly required for these kits. Um, all these pieces come on sprues and you have to clip them off. And as you can see, you'll end up with some little nubs you'll have to clean up and you can paint over that to disguise that if you care that much about it. But yeah, there is some assembly required. So I'm gonna show you how to put together a wheel here. Um, now what I use, what worked best for me anyway, was uh, my needle nose pliers here. I'm sure it's a much better way, a much better tool, but this worked out best for me. And hey, I use what I have available to me. So I just uh, like to take this post here and just kind of get a good grip on it with the pliers. And you want to hold it in this orientation. You can see with the little clip parts, basically going north and south. And as you can see, this opening is a very specific shape. So you're just lining it up with that shape and then you just kind of give it a push and it should, it should, in theory. Sometimes they fight me, sometimes they don't. It just depends. But just kind of give them a good push. And it should pop in. It's not wanting to work with me now. Because, of course, because the camera's on. See, again, I, there's probably a much better tool to use for this. But, again, I'm just using what I have. But there we go. So once you get it popped in, now what you want to do is you want to take the wheel and you want to rotate it like so, because this square here needs to fit into this shape. So once you have that turned, you can then slide this in. And I've always had to do some little extra adjustments because you can see now that's kind of not totally lined up. So what I do now is I grab it, I grab the post and I try to turn it here and I don't have enough grip here. So I'm just gonna use my little towel again, or you gotta work with things because hey, there you go. So now you can see that's a bit better lined up. And then we can push that all the way in. There we go. And now that's sitting a lot more flush. It's not gonna sit totally flush, but you want it sitting as flush as it can get. And then we bring in the hubcap here. And you can see you have these little indents here. You also have them on this piece. You just wanna make sure those are lined up. And then you just pop that on and push it in. And there you go. There you have a wheel. And that little process is done. So now what we can do is we're going to bring in Ironhide. He's going to be our lovely model. He's going to be our guinea pig. He's going to be the one we're working on. And all you have to do is just pop off his Cybertronian wheels. And pop on the new ones. They just pop right in and they do spin nice and freely so you can still roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. I'll take that off. And we just pop on the wheels. Boop, there you go. Pop off these wheels. And boop. And one more. And boop. And there you go. Got his wheels. Everything spins, everything rolls. Hooray for spinning and rolling. Pop that back in. There you go. And we'll show off how all this looks in the vehicle mode as well, but we're just doing the uh, initial installation here. 
But yeah, there's Einheid's new wheels, and we don't need these anymore, so hooray! So that was it for the first kit. Now this is the second kit, and this will give him some new feet. Yay! Some new transformable feet. And again, all this comes in pieces, so there is some assembly required. So you're just going to take these two pieces here, and it's just going to slide over that mushroom peg and make sure the windshield and everything is lined up just like that. And once you do that, you take on this section. And again, you want to make sure the shapes are lining up. And then that just friction fits together. And you have that going on. And then you want to take one of these. And this will slide over this post. Like so. I want to make sure it's in that orientation. And then we have a bumper piece. And there is a right and a left, so make sure you're doing it correctly, which I am not. We're using this one. There we go. You'll know if you're doing it wrong because you're just it just won't go. There you go. So you have a bumper piece as well, and you also get taillights done in transparent plastic with some paint in them. You can get these unpainted if you want to. That's totally up to you. But they are, I don't know if you can see it, but they are in like an L shape. And you just want to make sure that's... The flat part is on the outside, and that will go right there. Now these you do have to glue on, so I am going to do this real quick, okay? All right, the tail light is on, and you just need just the tiniest little dab of glue, and there you go. There you have one side all done, and of course, second verse is just like the first. And there we have two feet. Hooray for two feet, and yes, there they are fully assembled and they look quite nice in my opinion. So how it works is you just take the uh, section here with the windshield and you just rotate this around and that will become the toe. Yes, I know, sprue marks, I don't care. Um, yeah, just rotate that around, rotate that around and there you have the feet. Um, you know, if any little gaps bother you, you can always just put a dab of glue there to hold that together a little bit more firmly. Totally up to you what you want to do there, but yeah. There you have the feet. And I just want to compare these to the uh, these feet that I had reviewed a while back, um, these are 3D printed. Um, these are molded plastic. None of this stuff, none of the stuff non F makes is 3D printed. It's all actual molded plastic, which I do quite like. And um, I mean, you can see, I mean, the 3D printed stuff looks like 3D printed stuff. This looks, you know, nice and smooth and, you know, finished like a finished product, you know. So I do like these a lot better. Um, but hey, to each their own. You like what you like, but, you know. Sometimes 3D printed stuff is kind of a temporary fix. I do prefer things in molded plastic if I have the option, you know? But um, yeah, let's swap out his feet and it's just a case of just popping these off the hinge and these will just pop right on. Let's pop it off, pop it on. And now he has great strength of feet. There you go. There he is with his new feet. And the color matching is not great. You can see this red is a bit brighter than this red. But then again, I think Ironhide has like three different shades of red on him anyway. So you know what? Works perfectly. So <laughs> I'm not going to complain too much. Because he has a lot of different shades of red on him regardless. But yeah, nice new feet. It's got the ankle tiltage and all that good stuff. And yeah, for vehicle mode, you just turn these around. And there you have a proper back of the van. And they'll tap together, there's a little tab there, a little slot. So yeah, and again, we'll show off how all this works in the uh, in the alt modes. We're just going through the initial installation now. But yeah, there is Ironhide and his new feet. Now on to the third kit. Um, these are the components to help you make the uh, G1E battle sled. Um, so again, there's assembly required here, but it's pretty simple. So you're gonna take these uh, tread pieces here and these will plug into either end of this shorter post. So just work that in like so and like so. So these connections are quite snug. There you go. And then you plug on the rear treads. Oops, back here. Just work those on. And work those on. Plug it in, plug it in. Like so. Get everything nice and squozen. 
There you go. There you have the treads for the battle sled. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the uh, little weapon emplacement. So to do that, um, we have to do a little bit of prep work here. So you can see this section right here. So there's this little post that's sticking up. You can see it right there. We don't need that. We actually have to cut this off. So the way I do it, again, is probably a way more elegant and easier way to do it. But again, I use what's available to me. So I just use my nippers and I just kind of get in there as best I can. Nip as much as I can. And then I just grab my knife here and just kind of trim the rest of it out. And there you go. Pop that off and just kind of clean it up as best you can. Just make sure it's all sitting nice and flush like that. That's the end result that you want there. You just want that all sitting nice and flush. So you just trim that off. Easy peasy, both lemon and squeezy. And then we just take uh, this section here and this will plug on. Right here, and again, just gonna do your best to work this in because these connections are kind of tight. But it's doable. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And just work that in. Doesn't help that my hands are sweaty also. It's hot today. Not one of them hot days. But once you do that, then you take this piece here, line that up, plug it in, plug it in, and just work it in. It'll 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 do it. And just yeah. Yeah. yeah, there we go. It just helps. It helps sometimes if you make all the grunting noises. It just helps. <laughs> so there we go. Get that worked in, and you end up with this right here. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So now we have the little uh, weapon, little launcher here. And that will plug in like so. Again, just work that in. Work that on best you can. There we go. Then you just put on the other half like so. Then you have this section, which will just go over both. And that will hold this together like that. And then you have a little missile piece. And that just plugs right in like that. There you go. You got this deal going on. So you have some articulation. And there you have that. These little pieces will show a little bit later. But we have that. And now we can bring in Ironhide's roof, which will become the battle sled. And all you do here is uh, this will just plug into this port right there. So now you have your treads. This will plug in right here, like so. So you got that going on. And now we have these pieces right here. And what these pieces are for is you plug these on these posts, like so, and like so. And you can see they have multiple ports. You can actually plug some other stuff onto this if you want to. You gotta do what you want. You got some customization. And then you have these L-shaped pieces, and these will go on the ends, if I can. Okay, let me do this off camera real quick. Okay, I got it. Small parts and sweaty hands are not a good combination, in case you didn't already know. But okay. So we got those on, and what these are for is, this is something cool you can do. Um, we can actually take off the... Uh, Leg panels from Ironhide. What parts for? Shh, it's okay. It's, it's all right. It's okay. But <laughs> it's an option. Hey, it's an option. It makes it fun. Why not? Dare I say why not? But you can take these and plug these in here like that. And like that. And there you go. There you have the battle sled. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey. I like it. I can work with it. And you can rotate this. It'll rotate. You got a hinge here. You can move forward and back. You can move this from side to side. You have some adjustability there. And you can have Ironhide with his battle sled. 
That's pretty cool. Hey, I dig it. I can work with it. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And if you want to have it turned around the other way, you can turn it around the other way. I mean, per the G1 toy, it's supposed to be this way. So, I mean, you know, again, totally up to you what you want to do there. But I like it. I think that's pretty cool and uh, quite clever. Quite clever. I dig it. And, of course, you can use all of this stuff for Ratchet as well. So here's Ratchet's Battle Sled. And he has his new feet on and his new wheels. And you can see how this looks on both figures. And that's pretty cool. Now one more note about the battle sled. I'm sure people are wondering, are these new weapons Bluge compatible? Well, uh, I mean, the, like, the little missile itself, you know, it, you can put it on there, but it doesn't really hold. But, but, if we remove the missile, this one's holding on very tightly. Ah, there we go, if we remove this, Guess what? These ports are most definitely bluish compatible. Yes, they are. Oh, yes, they are. So you know what we can do? You know what we can do? You know what we can do? We can do a big old double battle sled. Bloosh! Only the best kind of sleds bloosh. Okay, so now let's get down to the vehicle mode. Now, as far as Ironhide himself, um, the only thing you're doing differently for transformation is just turning his toes around now to make the back of the van. Now, as far as the battle sled, um, we can take these parts off. Take this off. Take this off. Take this off. And there we have what's left. We can retract these as usual. Got that. So as far as these pieces go, you can leave these on. You just want to rotate them in like that. And then just plug them on. Plug it in, plug it in. And they will just tuck in right underneath the van like that. So if you don't want to take these off, you don't have to. And isn't that nice? That's just nice. You just kind of want to angle them in so you have the uh, the clearance there for everything to close up nice and properly. And that's where those go. That's where those live. Now, as far as the treads go, um, what you're going to do here is just take these front treads and just rotate them back. And then just rotate these forward like so. So basically just compact it up like that. And this can just live right in here in this little opening right under Ironhide's fist. And then you can close all that up and that can live right there, like so. And then you can just take the roof and plug everything back on as it was before. Voila, voila, and voila. Thing. Nice and snug, and nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have the van all put together. There you have the new back. And again, yeah, I mean, the, the, the reds don't match. But I think, again, he has like three shades of red. He has this shade, this shade, this shade. So what's a fourth shade of red? I mean, really, what's a fourth shade? But yeah, no, still. The bag looks pretty good, and again, if you want the rest of the uh, the window there to match the top, you can always just paint that black, but cool. You got some nice little transclearing headlights, I mean taillights, rather. You got some nice transclearing taillights. So, oh no, not too shabby. It does the job. It's, it's pretty flush. Um, now I'm realizing just this doesn't sit too flush as it is, but um, yeah, oh no. Not too bad. Now, as far as the weapon goes, um, there's no real place for this to kind of tuck in comfortably. Um, you can just plug it in these back ports here and just kind of bring it forward and, you know, have something like that going on. Hey, I mean, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. You know, this can also angle up and down, which is nice. So, I mean, hey, you know, hey, all things you can do. Have a swing in one way or the other. Just, you know, rotate around. 
Again, you can do what you want. You can figure things out as far as how you want to display all this. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. And here is Ratchet, so we can see how this looks on him as well. And again, the white, the white doesn't really match up, you know. But again, if it bothers you that much, you can always just take some paint to it. Again, it's up to you. I have a little bit of a gap back here too. I don't know. We have some a uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of spruce that I didn't cut completely flush. Gonna be my fault. I don't know, but yeah. You got the new wheels on them. They look nice. They look more earthy. So all in all, not too shabby. Not too shabby. So there you have the upgrades for Ironhide and Ratchet from Non F Productions. And they're pretty good. Some nice pieces of kit here. Um, as far as the feet go, um, the feet, it seems like nobody's really been able to nail the feet. Everybody just kind of gets it good enough, but not to where it works perfectly. These work well enough, but they still don't sit perfectly flush. So, you know, it is what it is. The battle sled parts are cool. If you feel that's a feature these were missing and you want that little extra bit of, you know, g one toy goodness. The wheels definitely make them look way more earthy like they should, since these are their Earth modes, they shouldn't have Cybertronian wheels. So that definitely helps the overall look. So yeah, pretty good, you know, not perfect, but still pretty good for the most part. So there you go. Now, if you would like any of these kits, you can go to nonf.com. I'll put a link to the site in the description down below so you can check that out. Of course, for all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the trifecta of upgrade kits from Non-F Productions for Earthrise, Ironhide, and Ratchet. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Home in your face.